What is up everybody? Brett here, back today with yet another new game for the channel, another roguelike. I'm excited to play. It's 20 minutes till dawn. A game by Flan. I don't know what that means. Flan is the developer and the publisher. It's described on Steam as a shoot, well, that's not going to be correct English. Shoot down an ever-growing horde of Lovecraftian monsters to survive the night. Choose from a variety of upgrades to create unique and game-breaking builds. Unlock a diverse cast of characters and weapons with unique powers. It's basically Vampire Survivors, which is a game we we did, I don't know, maybe like 10 episodes on. Had a lot of fun playing that game. This is that game. I'm going to be I'm gonna be totally real with you. Uh, with a little bit of a different take, um, you actually have to aim your weapons. There's a little bit more, like, real playability. Vampire Survivors is a game you can play with one hand. Not so, well, I actually don't know. I haven't played yet. 20 minutes till dawn. I'm guessing I need two hands to play this game. We currently have one character unlocked. Runes is the currency, as far as I understand it. I've only watched someone else play this game for a little bit off of YouTube, and it seemed like a hell of a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I mentioned in some of my other series that I'm playing right now that I am, at the time you guys are going to be watching this, I should be in like Florence, Italy, having a hell of a lot of fun with my kids. So wish me luck. <laughs> Hopefully you don't hear about any planes going down in the Atlantic or something. Uh, that's that's a little dark. I'm sorry. Uh, but Shauna. Shauna has 4 HP. And her special ability is that she can re-roll upgrades once per level. Damage, projectiles, reload time. All this stuff is going to become very familiar to you. Our current weapon is the revolver. And let's play. And I'll learn on the fly, I guess, how to play. We've got standard mode, which is we have to survive for 20 minutes. And then quick play mode, which is 10 minutes, gain faster XP. I could see wanting to do that maybe if the game gets a little old. And then Darkness, I think, is like, uh, what do they call that in every other game? Like Ascendancy mode, basically. And yeah, let's go ahead and play. So if we beat it, we can make it harder. That's what she said. So I'm guessing I just hold down left click here and use WASD. So as I shoot, I move slowly. So I kind of need to balance my movement with my shooting. Oh no, I thought I was gonna make a slick dodge there. You can see in the top left we have my HP, my bullets. On the ground you'll notice the XP that's being dropped. And I'm gonna try to circle back to get it. This game gets wild. It might not look like it right now, but it will. Thank God, okay, we got a level. So there's a lot of fun stuff we can do. We can use Tons of different strategies. There's like elemental attacks, there's summons, there's holy shields. There's all kinds of stuff, guys. And as you go to to choose something, you can see here that it's part of like a, a broader tree. So rapid fire, increased fire rate by 25% seems great. Leads to rubber bullets, leads to siege, and then also light bullets. So there's some good stuff there. There's Vitality, which gives us bonus max HP. I don't know if actually there's a way to heal in this game. I have no idea. Giant gives us bonus even more max HP, but increases our character size and lowers our speed. That's pretty scary. But we can regenerate. Okay, I answered my own question there. Anger point increases bullet damage and fire rate by plus 50%. When you get hit, it lasts for 15 seconds. Holy shield. A holy shield protects you from damage once. It regenerates in two minutes after breaking. Okay. Divine Wrath, call down lightning to strike a random nearby enemy for 22 damage every second while Holy Shield is active. And it now regenerates in a minute. Increased reload rate and move speed by 25%. That seems pretty good. A Ghost Friend, what do you do? Summon a Ghost Friend that shoots piercing bullets for 22 damage. I'm kind of interested in summons. I'm always a sucker for the fun summon type stuff in games like this. In sync, summon damage plus 15%, summon attack speed plus 50%. Your Ghost Friend now shoots towards where you aim. Vengeful Ghost shoots two additional projectiles, summon attack speed, and then take aim here. Sniper, Assassin, Penetrator, okay. I'm gonna go with the Ghost for fun. I honestly don't expect to win these guys, our first ever run. Oh Lord, he is so weak. Well, let's not count on the Ghost to do us any favors. That projectile doesn't even kill one of these things. And we're traveling in a circular pattern, that way we can uh, pick up the stuff we left behind. Quick hands, reload rate plus 20%, fire rate plus 5%. That's a new one. Vitality we've already seen. I think take aim we looked at briefly. 
Light weaponry. Summon a magic dagger that seeks out nearby enemies. This looks like another summon. Summon damage 40%. Summon a second magic dagger. Summon a magic sight that orbits around you. Deals as much damage as your bullets. That's pretty sick. These... Some of these seem way better. Power shot gives bullet damage and knockback. Bullet size, more damage. Yeah, these seem way better. I'm going to go with the dagger. And let's see how that plays. Let's try the janky stuff first. And actually, we don't even really know if it's janky. It's my first time playing. But summons usually end up being the janky builds. And if I was just going for raw percentages, that's the stuff that usually ends up being the thing that pays off in the end. And you see, we, we're shooting these like brain looking dudes. Uh, however, they're the white ones, the they look like the flood from Halo. These dudes seem to explode. And this here, I already know what it is. It's a dragon egg, but it takes three minutes to hatch. Wait a minute, did I click on the wrong thing? Did I do the quick? Okay, well that's actually fine. That makes the dragon egg a little worse. I didn't even realize, guys. I thought I was doing the, the full-sized mission, but that's cool. Let's try to knock out one of these, maybe get some runes to spend. So we've got move speed and fire rate. I wanted to see what the scythe does. And some of the attack speed seems great. And if we could get a dragon egg, let's see what the dragon egg actually does. So it hatches into a dragon, cool. It gains attack speed. Your bullets deal additional damage equal to 10% of your dragon's damage. Yeah, so you want to get this early, early, early. It's like an investment. Um, but it feels like if I only have to survive for 10 minutes, this is never going to scale. Let's go for this and see what the scythe does. This is something I haven't seen in the game yet, even with the, uh, the, the playthrough that I saw. Yeah, taking damage there was bad. Their hitbox is a little bit bigger than I think it is, I think. And I don't know, man. The scythe seems good. Gotta be careful when I'm firing. But we have all this passive damage now with these summons. It's pretty sweet. Um, double shot. Your bullets have a 50% chance to inflict burn. Oh, that sounds sick. We're kind of killing stuff right now, though. I feel like I really just want to get more fire rate. Oh, that's nice, but I might end up dying just to getting touched from not being used to the controls yet. Probably should have done a warm-up game just to feel it out. Get used to moving. Yeah, getting getting used to what my speed is. That's okay. Let's try again. Unless it gives me another 10-minute. Because I'd, I'd much rather do a... Uh, let's see. Let's go... Let's go give up. Very sad. Quick to menu. I don't know what I can buy with like, what did I get, like 600 runes? Almost 700. So you can unlock additional weapons and they get pretty expensive. Additional characters? Are they all female vampires? That's funny, I didn't even notice that. And yeah, let's jump back in. Let's play. I want standard mode play. Here we go. Let's see if we can get through one game. Oh, damn. You can't touch the tree? I wonder if... You, can you kill the tree? It didn't hurt me. But I can do damage to it. Interesting. Alright, gotta be careful. First level is going to come quick. Maybe we try to do a more serious build. That way we can uh, make it long enough to do some of the fun stuff. Electromage. Every second shot, call down lightning to strike nearby enemy for 22 damage. We have 6 ammo, so... It takes a while to get to that second shot, huh? When lightning strikes an enemy, there's a 20% chance to automatically refill 3 of your ammo. All lightning damage increased by 12... Increases area of effect. Summon an electro bug that calls down lightning to strike two nearby enemies. 
That sounds fun, but like I feel like I need to get some of this other stuff first. But it gave me all the elemental stuff right off the bat. Freeze, burn, lightning. We got Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno here. Let's take the bullet damage. How could we possibly go wrong with increased damage? If we start one-tapping these things, we're going to feel pretty good about ourselves. But we got to circle all the way around. Just like Vampire Survivors, there's kind of an optimal way to move. That way you can make sure you're always picking up the most experience. Getting some early movement speed and fire rate might be great. Quick ham seems good. Big shot, even more bullet damage. I don't know if we quite need this yet. I feel like our fire rate taking a 16% hit. It's not a substantial amount. Um, but we're already one-tapping everything, so I don't know how much that's going to help. Reload rate and fire rate seems good. Fire rate just seems good. And double shot itself just seems good. If we're one-tapping them, let's take this. Let's get double shot. And we'll... I think that's pretty self-explanatory, yeah. And we'll be able to uh, explore what those other ones are in a second here. Don't want to get caught reading too much. Lest my killer instincts become dull. Yeah, reload time taking a second, huh? Ah. There we go. Just trying to get some piercing. Get in there and kill that dude. I kind of want to see what the lightning stuff does. Magnetism can increase our pickup range. Let's see if this leads to anything that helps us with anything else. More pickup range and vision range. If you move kind of in a circular fashion, always kind of going to where you just killed enemies, you will find that you'll be able to pick up most of the experience you leave, if it's anything like Vampire Survivors. But this is excitement. Even more pickup range after picking up XP gain 35% fire rate for one second. And it seems like once this map gets covered, this is like basically a permanent 35% fire rate increase. 10% chance to refill ammo. That's pretty sick. What does move speed turn into? Walk speed increases? Let's, let's take this. I feel like my... The biggest thing that's going to kill me... Aside from trying to talk and play a video game at the same time... Is, uh... Me, like, overestimating how fast I am. And getting the early speed, I think, is going to help. Offset some of my hubris. Let's see if I can get in there and get that XP. Hell yeah. Alright, so we got Splinter. Enemies explode into three bullets when killed. These bullets deal 10% damage. That's pretty weak. That's like two damage. Because I think I'm doing about 20 right now. But maybe that turns into like really sick other stuff. Power shot and more bullet damage. Oh no, wait. This is just part of this one. Okay. Magic Lens. Summon a magic lens that give all bullets that pass through it plus 30% damage in size. This bonus is increased by your summon damage. That's pretty sweet. Bullets, it depends on how big the lens is. Bullets that pass through your magic lens gain two bounce. All of the effects of your magic lens is doubled and magic lens size is half. Hmm. Bullets that pass through your magic lens will inflict burn. I don't know if I'm sold on that one quite yet. Shooting an additional bullet behind you might be good. I don't know how good it is, but it gets me one step closer to a fusillade, which increases my projectiles and spread. We take a hit to our bullet damage, but it doubles our base projectiles. Let's take this one. I'm trying to keep all the enemies in front of me, so shooting behind myself might not be that relevant. We need to hit the exploding, guys. We're getting to the heart of the XP. There we go. And look at it. It's all just sitting there waiting for me to get it. Oh, there's always people who play games like this who are all about like the experience gain early. And who's probably yelling at me like, man, you should have taken the uh, increased experience pickup range. And you might be right. 
fan fire. When shooting your last ammo, also shoot 10 additional bullets in a circle around you. This might help us keep things away from us. Frost Mage, your bullets have a 35% chance to inflict freeze for 30 seconds. Boss enemies are only affected by freeze. Magnetism, we, we've seen that. The Holy Shield is tempting, but we still have 3 HP. I think I'm going to go for this fan fire. And then with that, we should unlock Fusillade, which I think is going to help us a lot. Okay, cool. And I immediately touched something. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, that dude got close. I need to scale faster. I need to get this XP. Okay, Electro Mage, still tempting. More move speed. Inflict burn on nearby enemies as you run. The effect occurs more often the faster you move. I still like that. Walk speed. Let's try this. This is another thing I haven't seen anyone else take. Much like that scythe we had last time. It's just another, like, maybe form of AoE. And look here, our first boss. A slightly bigger squid brain. I'm trying to get a gauge on what, in terms of numbers, the burn damage is doing. Yet another level. So we were working towards Fusilade. Let's see if that was worth it. I also see rapid fire. 25% speed. Alright, that felt pretty good. Now shooting four shots. Ah, bad damage, man. I wonder if the game would be a little easier with a controller over a keyboard and mouse. Or maybe I just need to get good. Vision range plus 25%. All enemies within your vision range take 5 damage every 2 seconds. Just free AoE damage and then in the wind here. Increase bullet damage and move speed by 10% every 10 seconds. Max 40%. This bonus is reset when you get hit. This seems like something we need. Because it's also going to increase, like I said, the burn damage. Because the faster we move, the more damage our burn damage does. So we want to, like, build into these synergies. And we definitely want to kill the boss, because I already know that by killing the boss, we get a chest. But look how, I was about to say, look how hard it is for us to get to the chest. And we died after killing our first boss, but what can you do besides play better? Let's quit the main menu. We now have enough runes to actually do something with. Starts with very high HP. That might be the noob friendly option. We also have a shotgun that we can unlock. Let's unlock her and play with her. Maybe next time we'll unlock the shotgun. Standard mode. And I'm expecting to see a little bit of an improvement every time we play. It's just we gotta get experience faster, I feel like. Maybe I'll try, if I get the chance, the pickup range. So bad. Coming off a run where I'm moving very quickly into a run where I'm moving slow again. Feels bad, man. We're gonna get it though. Move speed right off the bat. There's the magnetism that we were asking for. I was hoping for something a little more offensive. The dragon egg is, I think, amazing to get early, and this is the earliest you can get it. Maybe we try this. Can we survive for three minutes, man? Our next upgrades have to be, like, relevant as hell, though. Okay, I touched the tree again. Didn't hurt me, though. Oh, my God.
I do not yet have the moves like Jagger, but I'm working on it. There we go. Shoot the gap. Three minutes is a hell of a long time for us to survive with this dragon that doesn't do anything to help us. Age dragon. Your dragon gains eight damage every 60 seconds. The ability works even if your dragon is still in the egg. That's very tempting. I think we might have to go with double shot here. We need more damage. And getting a bunch of early things that don't help us at all for the next three minutes feels like perhaps the wrong move. Whereas this is a pretty huge damage spike for us. Oh no, it looks like I'm getting a little bit of like screen tearing. I don't know if it's appearing on the video, but I hope not. Hmm. I've got a line like right down the middle here. Not good. Let's get some knockback and bullet damage. I don't know how good Electro Mage is, man. Let's try that instead. Great, now I've got a fly on my screen. Oh my god. The fates conspire against me. I don't know, maybe the lightning thing is good. We just have to fire really fast. So if we see anything that builds into fire rate, we should probably try to prioritize it. Why is this game of all games causing this type of screen issue? I don't understand. Oh my god, the tree! Leave me alone! Okay. Fan fire. Here's the fire rate I was asking for. Which gets us a faster reload. Which gets us to a faster second shot, which gets us more lightning. You guys get the idea. But yeah, lightning doesn't even one-shot these guys. How weak is that? Holy shield. Quick hands, more reload rate and fire speed. I like that. Kind of tempted to try glare as well, but man, we need some synergies. I'd like to see how it works, especially on our first ever attempt in this game. It feels like a good idea to figure this stuff out. Light bullets, getting additional ammo actually doesn't really help us, but fire rate kind of does. It gets us back to, like, reloading faster, triggering more lightning. Siege, I don't know how good that is. Let's go for this. This is all good stats. And here comes the boss. Maybe at a certain point our vision range will be something that will actually help us do real damage to these dudes. Definitely have to stop firing here or I'm going to die. Okay, Ghost Friend, Sight Magic, and even more vision range. The damage from glare also applies the on-hit effect of your bullets, which would be sick if we had flaming bullets or freezing bullets. Reload rate and even more firing. Let's go for... I kind of want to make this work. This seems sick. I'm a sucker for passive damage in every game I play. And we have a dragon! What do you do? Please be good. You won't be that good because we haven't invested in your skills yet, but... Glare. 
More vision range and the damage is doubled? That seems legit. We also are passing another chance to buff our dragon. But 10 damage every two seconds when any, when anything is in like that inner very clear ring of vision. I don't know if there's anything else, any other upgrades that can increase our vision range. But we gotta get to this chest. And yet another level. Now might be a good time to go for the Age Dragon. And then let's see what's in here. When Diamond's HP is at or below half of max HP, increase piercing plus two and knockback. So if we lose one more HP, we'll get those buffs. The Dragon's attack is pretty strong, man. Looks like it does some decent piercing and AOE, and it looks like it also causes burning. Now that we have this, like, uh, this perk or talent or whatever that benefits from us losing HP, it feels like I was, I was a mad genius to lose the HP that we did. Electrobug, summon an electrobug that calls down lightning to strike two nearby enemies. I want to see what this is all about. It's another summon, it's more lightning. Maybe we'll start to see the lightning synergy pop. Once again, a lot more passive damage. And yet another boss. Oh no. I don't know how good our single target damage is. Okay, it's going to charge me, so... Oh my god, I can't believe it. Let's go get this huge amount of experience that's just chilling down here. And even more buffs for the dragon. I feel like if we're going to do it, we need to do it sooner rather than later. But this reload fire rate, I think we can't pass on. The percentages are the truth. Would love to get some freeze and burn now. And I got run over and wrecked. But we have done better consistently with each attempt. And I think, guys, I'm trying to keep these videos to about 30 minutes. That way I have enough videos to spread out over the time that I'm gone. Uh, so hopefully you don't mind this short 30-minute video. We did better each attempt, which is all I could really ask for. And then we also have the ability now to come in here and unlock... Oh, we can't unlock this. Maybe we have to unlock this one first. Well, that kind of sucks. Well, let's unlock the shotgun, and then we'll have that for the next video. And, yeah... Maybe unlock yet another character. On every third shot, throw out a wave of fire that burns enemies for three damage per second. That's pretty sweet. Maybe we'll just end up clicking a lot better with one of these other characters and one of these other weapons. But that's going to be it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this first look, for me anyway, at 20 minutes till dawn. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, y'all.